JavaScript is a event driven programming language. That means in JavaScript, we mostly write programs which will respond to an event. Events are something which happens to an HTML element on the web page. For example, when a button is clicked, the click event happens. Similarly, when a text box is focused, the focus event happens. And when a key is pressed on the keyboard, the key press event happens. We can write JavaScript programs to react to these events. And this is called as event handling. An event in JavaScript can be classified into two types. Browser specific events and DOM specific events. Browser specific events include resizing a browser window, scrolling down, etc. DOM specific events include clicking a button, hovering over a web page element, clicking inside a text box, etc. For example, in this web page we have a very simple registration form. Now, currently when I click on this button, nothing happens. But in real world web applications, you will see that when you have a registration form and when you click on the submit button, this submit button will first validate the form data. And after validation, it will send the form data to the server. All right. So when we click on the submit button, a click event happens. And when that click event happens, we write logic in our JavaScript code to validate the form data. All right. Similarly, when I click inside this text box, the focus event happens. And when I click outside of this text box, the blur event happens. When I hover over this H2 element, the mouse over event happens. And when I move my mouse away from that element, then mouse out event happens. So we have a list of events in JavaScript and these are DOM events. All right. Similarly, we have browser events. So when I resize this window, the browser events happen. So here we are resizing the window. So this is an event. All right. When I'm scrolling down in my web page, this is also an event. And these are browser events. Here is the MSDN link where you can find all the events which we have in JavaScript. So if we scroll down here, you can see all the mouse events. So we have click event, uh, context menu event, double click, mouse down, etc. If I scroll a bit more, we have drag and drop events. We have media events and there are several types of events in JavaScript. Okay. We can use JavaScript programs to listen to these events. And when that event happens, we can show a response. We have several ways to handle events in JavaScript. We can use inline event handlers. We can use events as properties of an HTML element. And we can also listen to events using a built in add event listener method, which is a method presenting document object. So in the next few lectures, we are going to learn about handling events in JavaScript with each of these methods one by one.